Alright, what's up everybody? Um, welcome back to my city. Um, I still don't have a name for it, so hoping to get a name uh, for this city. But yeah, welcome back. Um, this is my second video. And just wanted to give you guys some updates and things that I've been working on this past uh, week or so. Um, big thing you might notice is that I, did, I finally did add Diagon Alley. Um, uh, this is a beautiful build. Uh, it's very intricate architecture. Um, it has the hits and notes. It's a very colorful set. Um, and I think it adds a lot of uh, character to anybody's modular and our city. And even if you guys don't have a city, um, it'll just be an awesome display piece just being side by side. That being said, it is called Diagon Alley. And I know my layout is not um, book and story uh, accurate. Um, but I did set it up this way because I wanted to be an alley. And so I wedged it between two... Um, well, four of my modulars and wanted to give it a alley feel. And initially, um, I had these uh, put together without the gap in between, um, but getting comments from my friends and family, they said it looked a little bit too tight. And that's why those uh, pieces are there. Um, and so I decided to try to see if I could split it. Um, and I did a half base plate. And I can't tell uh, if I like it or not. Um, I am getting some half uh, 16 by 32 base plates to throw in there to see um, what it would look like if I, uh, you know, put the stones and marble in and, and see how that turns out. So I have yet to see what it looks like, but it looks okay for now. Um, the trade-off for that was I would lose um, a road plate here because now... Since everything shifted half a base plate, um, now I'm looking at um, half a base plate and I cannot use these uh, roads anymore. So I did create some faux road using some 2 by one tiles that I had. Um, and I still need to fill that in. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to wait for those orders from Bricklink. Um, see if I can fill those gaps in and see how this turns out. Um, I am kind of experimenting. Um, the reason also why I changed the order of these uh, buildings is because I wanted it to fit as seamlessly with uh, the city. Um, if anybody has Diagon Alley or seen any reviews, um, these are kind of meant to be side by side, I believe. And so a lot of these plates or modulars come all the way out um, to the end of the base plate, um, as you can see here. And that, although the sides are a little bit presentable, it creates an awkward gap here. And I, I don't know what I want to do because corner pieces always leave a sidewalk um, capability. Um, this one was lucky because all they have is the, the Nocturne Alley gateway. And then, but this one looks cool because it looks like a gateway between the muggle world to the magical world so that looks kind of nice and that's why I put this one up front um, but this one I there was no way to solve this because the all the other pieces were flat and all the way out to the front like this so um, I'm just leaving it for now um, it is kind of bothersome but it is what it is um, and I don't have huge plans to really extend this um, city a whole lot um, due to the constraint of what I have and so it's more going to be just shuffling different base plates and trying to um, consolidate and make more space for future modulars but at the moment um, I just want to work with what I have um, there is a chance uh, so I use these Calyx um, Ikea 2x2 shelves to put some off brand or not off brand but like own separate themed um, Lego sets, as you may have seen in the first things. Some of them are vacant because um, I did throw some into the uh, Lego City and inside the Avengers Tower. Um, and want to kind of show you that, um, and those are some of my mocks. Um, some of these, I mean, I did light them all up, so they do look a lot nicer. Um, and I think I'm really proud of the work I was able to accomplish um, lighting these shelves up just gives it a nice feel 
Um, but yeah, uh, otherwise, um, the city is coming to, um, you know, a, a bigger picture. It's coming clean. It's coming nice. Um, here's a Doctor Strange battle uh, with my favorite villain, Squidward. And that's, if you haven't watched the movie, uh, Tony Stark calls him Squidward for his big nose. Um, there is the vehicle chase with Batman. And yeah, and so I, I throw I like to throw in random uh scenes like the mobs from the Avengers, um Falcon flying around, Wonder Woman trying to catch ghosts from Ghostbusters. So I like to just give random characters. I think it gives a more interest interesting thing instead of everything looking so neat and concrete. I don't know what I want to do with the space, so I filled it in with the old uh, well, I filled it in with the carnival pack, people pack. I mean, I think it looks okay for now, but uh, I definitely want to do something else with that space. Um, that people pack used to be right here, and I have created a park since. And I created a little water fountain. Uh, those are from the leftover pizzas from the Iron Man repulsors, and I think it looks like a pretty cool. Um, water fountain so there is Bruce Banner trying to de-stress from a stressful day he's trying to turn angry but we don't want him to do that um, yeah and I have these trees that I uh, I made um, I did a lot of research and googling to find what trees will look more realistic and um, and I couldn't find anything that I liked um, and so I one day just Started brainstorming how to make trees, um, just start messing with pieces, and this is what I came up with. And I think it came out really nice. Um, it's very random, but I think it gives more of that leafy texture. Um, let me see. I know it's commonly used to use these, like, these leaves, these swampy leaf trees, but um, I, it just doesn't look anything like a tree. So I decided to upgrade it and use some leaf textures. Um, and that's what I have. And if you noticed, I do not have any green in my city. And the reason for that is because I wanted to mess around with my layout. Um, that Diagon Alley made me shuffle a lot of what I was working with. And I did not want to put trees on and then having to take them off to move plates. And it was just getting... Uh, very tedious and so instead um, I just left them all off until I came up with a setup that I like which I think I have reached like a 90% like it's really gonna depend on that diagonal alley um, but yeah uh, once that's the case I have a couple pieces need to come from uh, brick link in order for me to make more trees um, but otherwise um, that will be my next big project is to fill in trees here and make it look look a little bit less industrial um, and a little bit more homey and environmental friendly. So, um, yeah, I like to do that. And I think over here, something that you guys haven't seen, um, there was just fillers in here. Um, I didn't know what to do with that space, so I moved uh, Doctor Strange's Sanctum um, Temporium and then the Lego store and then the coffee uh, little booth. And I uh, put those all on one side and I created this little water area. And as you can see, um, just just random fishing. There's Aquaman watching the proposal. Um, and I thought it was just a nice little touch. And a lot of these pieces I got from my local pickle brick walls. And I thought this was a nice way to use it. Um, yeah, so I think it came out pretty nice. Um, and also I added this Christmas tree. Um, I, you know, it's, I know it's Halloween, uh, but I wanted it to... I'm, I'm not a big Halloween guy, but uh, Christmas is definitely my favorite. So I wanted to add a little bit of a Christmas spirit to my city. Um, I don't know how much further I'll get past that. Um, maybe I'll just put little trinkets here and there and maybe invest in a, uh, one of the... Maybe the elf house and try to invest in that, but... As you can see, space is not on my side. And it's not my friend, because I am running out of space. Um, other things that I built since then 
is this um, motorcycle, I, I believe um, this is from the newer sets. Um, the reason why I bought that is because it included this minifigure. And that is the Black Panther. I, I know you can't see it, but... Um, you know, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman, one of my favorite actors and um, characters in the movie. But I had to get it just to grab that minifigure because I, I didn't own one before. And then I also bought this Quinjet in order to um, pair up with my Avengers Tower, which I really love how it came out to be. I'm going to create a separate um, video on how I came up with this design and how it came to be. I definitely got a lot of inspiration from other YouTubers like Alex Nunes and um, seen a lot of videos um, and came up with my own variant. Um, but I would love to share how I came to brainstorm that. But as you can see, that Quinjet is way too big. I wanted to sit up there, but um, it just didn't work. So for now, I just let it park there with the future Black Widow. Um, I actually have three Black Widows in this uh, city. One thing that I do want to add, and it's probably the biggest feature of my city, is I mentioned that lighting really changes the way your your anything is displayed whether the shoes um, sports memorabilia anything right so for example i look at this and please don't mind the wires because i haven't done any wire management it looks okay but when you light it up it definitely gives like a another flair to it right it, it just looks a lot cleaner and nicer um, and so that's what i wanted to do with this city is I install lights and lights are very expensive they're like anywhere from $50 to $100 sometimes even more than that per modular um, and so far I've lit these five and so that would be what $250 to $500 um, sometimes and that's not a good way to spend money um, but I and I, I would say a total of $20, $10 maybe, to light up this entire area. And it was really simple, very cheap, very affordable, and I think it turns out nice. And I, I, I'll show you guys a video if you guys want. If you leave a comment down below, I can show, show you guys. Um, but even dark, it just makes it look like the city comes alive. Um, and so, definitely... Um, a fan of this uh, I plan to like the rest of my city but what do you guys think um, I think it came out really well um, and it just looks really awesome so yeah guys let me know what you guys think um, please like the video if this was in anything interesting in here um, and comment down below if you want to see any tutorials or um, maybe these lightings how I how I got away with only spending $20 and how you guys can spend very little money to light up your cities or your your uh, mocks. Obviously, the rest of the part hasn't been lit yet, but um, they are on its way. Should be here tomorrow, so um, that should be one for the books. So, thank you guys so much. Um, again, if you are interested or if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, turn on the notification bells um, and comment down any questions. I would love to respond to anybody um, who has any any remote interest <laughs> so thank you guys so much hopefully uh we'll, i'll see you in another update and until next time see you guys peace